Hello everyone, my name is Roshan and I am from Andaman Nicobar Islands. Welcome to new episode of Andaman Updates. So today I will be discussing some of the major Andaman Updates. So let's get started without wasting any time. So the first news which is the very good news to many of us is that tourism industry, tourism department has announced that tourism is started from now. It's being reopened. So now Every tourist can come to travel in Andaman. Andaman is a great place to be. So if you like this news that it is allowed to tour here after the cyclone Asani, now it's a great time to have this opportunity. If you like this news of tourism, please do comment down in the comment section as well as please do subscribe and share and hit the like button if you like the news. Okay. So the second news, the second main news is uh, basically not majorly regarding Andaman Islands. It's from whole mainland India that the advertisement of Sensodyne toothpaste and like that types okay of taglines like it is recommended by doctors worldwide or it's the number one sensitivity toothpaste is being punished means there is a penalty for this type of advertisement. So the penalty is 10 lakh rupees. This is a very major news because no toothpaste company can ever guarantee anything. You know, right, cosmetics and other things cannot be guaranteed. So please do make sure of uh, uh, thinking about that. The third news is a very good news. Uh, a flight has started, flight scheduling has been started. So if you are coming from Andaman, uh, sorry, coming to Andaman or going from Andaman to travel somewhere else and this is a good news for you. Uh, flights are, are started, have been started from Port Blair to Chennai and Kolkata. These three regions, MAA, CCU and IXZ. Okay, so flights today also it were, it were there and it was rescheduled I guess because of the cyclone Asani and other reasons maybe. And uh, to, uh, tomorrow is uh, 23 March is also their flights and obviously tourism has started. COVID is so low, then definitely it's a good news for you. If you like this video, if this like you, uh, if you like this news, please do hit the like button and please just share to each and everyone. Remember, I do not edit most of the videos in this video series since I consider not to edit for now. So please never mind for that. The next news is a very good news. It's not regarding Andaman Nicobar Islands, basic, uh, means technically, means uh, majorly, but it is a proud moment for all the Indians residing in all over the world. Yes. So, Miss Jia Rani, a student of Navy Children's School, uh, Mumbai. So, she's, uh, she swam ac across the pass strait in a record record time so in the age of um, 13 years 10 months on 20th march means it is uh, yesterday's news uh, sorry day before yesterday maybe so she swam around 29 kilometers so it's definitely a very good news for all of us she made the record of being the youngest and fastest swim, swimmer um, female female swimmer in the world where did she swim uh, Sale Manar Sri Lanka to Dhanus Kodi India so if you are from any of this reason please do comment down and what's there what's happening there we would like me as, me as well as uh, uh, many of my viewers would like to know that so definitely do hit the like button if you find this news very good. This is a very proud moment for each and uh, for each and every Indian. So uh, definitely if you find this valuable, please do share to each and everyone so that everyone could uh, have this awareness, right? Obviously. Uh, so, so these were some of the major news. If you find this news very valuable, even if you like my work, if you want to support my work, Simply hit the like button, subscribe it and share to everyone. In this video series, in this channel, I will be posting various things of Andaman Nicobar Islands. I am Roshan. I am Roshan from Andaman Nicobar Islands. I will be posting you new videos. Till then, take care and do share it. Thank you.